Alright guys, what is going on and welcome to the AFL State of Origin Episode 2 where today we will have the Western Australians going up against the Queenslanders. Here you can see the current bracket after Round 1, Game 1 of the quarterfinals where obviously last time Victoria defeated... Uh, who did they defeat? They defeated New South Wales, if I am correct. You can check that out in yesterday's video. But as I said today, we have a big game between Western Australia and Queensland. Western Australia, probably the second biggest uh, AFL state, I guess. Uh, the amount of people that support the AFL, that's just what I'm going with. And they probably have uh, some of the best players in the league by far. So here you can see we are playing at Domain. Uh, we scrapped the random stadiums because I didn't like uh, two of like a game that should be massive being played at body some random local oval so yeah here you can see the Queensland team lining up now I'm not sure if they weren't enough good Queenslander players that this guy had to fill them out with just random filler players called new player but it's kind of messed up since AFL Evolution fixed the interchange so now players actually come on so yeah <laughs> here we go in for the toss and that is uh, I think Jared Jared Harbrow, correct me if I'm wrong, and uh, Alex Rance there. I think that's Harbrow because I saw the number five before when I was editing this video. So yeah, anyway, uh, WA win the toss and they will kick to the right of screen as uh, Victoria decided to do uh, yesterday. So yeah, here's Nat Fife out of the middle and he goes straight away for WA. And by the way, guys, just letting you know, this whole thing is all the computer. I'm not playing. It's just a simulation where I've gone in the middle. So, obviously, I'm not playing for either side where you get to choose who you're playing as. And, yeah, we're just letting it play out. So, you saw Matt Prittis kick one there and also Buddy Franklin. So, they are off to a roll. A massive start here from WA, which we all, I think, ex expected that WA would come out and absolutely smash him and now that is Andrew Swallow with the goal out of the middle again this is some absolute dominance here at the start and they'll go again here through Swallow so two goals in a row for Swallow which will lead us into quarter time where Western Australia lead the QLD by 30 points five straight 32 0 0 0. Andrew Swallow has kicked two goals so far, as you know. And by the way, guys, I was just letting you know now that I have planned an awards night special video for the end of this series after the final is played, and it will be the final video of this little series. So, yeah, just letting you know Hayden Ballantyne goals there, and uh, here he just waltzes into a goal, does Jeremy McGovern. And uh, yeah, this is some absolute dominance here from WA. Here's Eddie Betts out just outside of the 50. He goes for the top and it is straight through the middle. They cannot miss. They cannot do anything wrong now. They are just absolutely smashing it. Uh, let me know right now how, how you predict how far this lead will get out to as we go in to halftime with a goal there from Jeremy McGovern and as you can see 55 points the margin and uh, QLD with our a score. The Queenslanders 0 0 0 and here you can see Mark Lacrys had the most disposals for Western Australia. It spills out the back and Eddie Betts gets an, a second goal, I believe, for himself there. So he'll be pumped about that one. So will Eddie Betts fans. And now it spills out again after a pushed in the back call and Hayden Ballantyne got and Hayden Ballantyne goals, he splits the middle, he puts it through the big sticks for WA and now lining up right about where Eddie Betts kicked the goal at the other end of the ground and Mark Lacroix does exactly that. No mistakes from big Mark Lacroix, the WA boy <laughs> and uh, here at three quarter time at 73 points the margin, still with Queensland, no score. And as you can see, Andrew Swallow leading both tallies of the goal kickers and the disposals. So they're lining up again here. I believe this is Lacroix. And yes, it is. Lacroix puts that one through. And there is just no stopping them right now, is there? They are just on an absolute roll. And I don't think Queensland will score, to be honest. They have just been absolutely dominated. They've hardly gotten their hands on the ball. And look at this play out in the middle 
five to Buddy, I believe, who puts it through for another one. And that is great for them. And as you can see, the final siren has gone. And the <laughs> Western Australians have absolutely flogged. They have smashed. They have thumped the Queenslanders. So sorry if you're a Queenslander. I know there must be a few out, few of you out there, but you're mainly a, you're mainly a rugby place. <laughs> I'm going to Queensland next month. Celebrate. 14 to 86 to 0, 0, 0. Zach Smith was probably the best player for Queensland. And Mark Lacra gets the three votes, which will come into play come later on in the season. And that is the last we'll see for Queensland. And we won't see New South Wales anymore as well so both of those teams we can say goodbye to and here you can see the bracket so next round's games the semi-finals will be between victoria and south australia who obviously got the bye given to them lucky them and western australian tasmania so yeah guys let me know who you think will take out this whole tournament anyway guys hopefully you'll have enjoyed this video if you have please make sure to smile on and subscribe for future content i'm okay you been there. until next time Peace. And by the way, guys, I've actually kept the series going. Can you believe it? I sure can't.